So today I wanted to share with you a, ba a miniature bag collection review. I bought both these bags, I want to say this year. That one was bought in March. That one was bought maybe the end of last year, early part of this year. But the ones, this, poor, this is Paul Costello. It's a lower end um, designer bag. This is Topshop. I have this in the large version and I have the large version in tan and I've got a red version coming too. I've had this longer and I must admit I've probably used this more but it's only because I've only had this for two months and it was an early birthday present and because my birthday was only a month ago I obviously couldn't start using it straight away. I love handbags as I'm sure you know from my previous um, videos. I mostly collect secondhand top shop stuff and vintage and I haven't bought a vintage handbag in quite a while probably close to a year now only for the fact that I've been finding so many really lovely uh, secondhand top shop ones and this one I didn't realize this was ever going to be a favorite I didn't realize the large version and the small version were even different it was only when I was looking at pictures and I realized that this particular one uh, has these leather covered dome studs and the large one has the gold studs to match the hardware. Anyway, so I'm just going to do a comparison between the two. Uh, this one I use, I, I switch my handbags around all the time, maybe at least two, three, maybe even four times a week because I love handbags. I like having different looks. Unfortunately, the area I work in is quite rough. So I don't have the opportunity to wear super nice bags like this very often because, to be honest with you, I hate to say it, but there's always the fear of being mugged. And I'd like to throw it out there. I have been watching Chase Amy videos for about a year now because I was poorly last year. I had nothing to do but watch endless YouTubes, but I always watch Chase Amy's videos. I joined her bag group a couple of months ago, or bag chat on Facebook, and I love it. Everybody's really nice. Everybody's really friendly. Even though I have, this is about as close to a designer handbag as you get for me, because, I mean, I love Chanel's. I have been a massive fan of Chanel bags since I was a kid, because, it, you know, it... it it's iconic, like the Dior new look. It, it's just an iconic thing. They were everywhere when I was little, um, you know, because I grew up in the 90s, so, you know, the bigger the better, and everybody knew the designer labels. And, you know, I remember being uh, a teenager in the noughties, and the smaller the bag, the better, and how kind of, you know, I remember having a tiny little snakeskin bag that if you were lucky, you could probably maybe fit an iPhone and a lipstick in now. <laughs> But I've always liked handbags and shoes, so it's... I don't go out a lot, I don't smoke. My my, my main habit, I'm going to be honest, is shopping. So first things first, I'm going to show you this bag. This I found in TK Maxx. It was £27, full retail, it's £175. It's a Paul Costello Mini Gia. And it's not showing up brilliantly on the... Uh, because unfortunately it's quite grey today. This is a really pretty pale blue. It's got a grey undertone to it. It's got, you can wear it crossbody. It's got a very lovely strap. What I like about the strap is it is adjustable. However, the strap can't be removed. But I don't mind. The reason I really liked this bag is I've seen so many people with the Celine Nano. And I do like the Nano. I'll be honest, I could never realistically afford a Nano because there are other things I, I'd want to save up for. There are things I'd wear more. And, you know, that that's just me. I think if, if bags are your things and it's what you want to wear and it's what you want to buy, do it. I'd never judge somebody if they want to go spend however much on a Chanel or whatever. I'd appreciate the beautiful thing that they've got and say, hey, good job. So this bag is really cool for a small bag, as you can see. It is about the width of my hand span and it is about the height of my hand. I have quite small hands. So this is why this bag is amazing. Because the only downside I find with large bags is because I have such a small hand, I lose everything in them all the time. Even with a bag organiser, I have lost things. Shout out to Primark. I bought a bag organiser from them the other week for £3 and it is amazing. I've been using it in my bigger bags. When I can't find anything, just pull it out. Everything is there. 
So that is a neat trick I learned from the lovely ladies and gentlemen at Bag Chat. So with this lovely bag, what is really nice is it's got this really lovely pale gold hardware and it's got this cute little pocket here that if you did have larger hands you probably have an issue with it but again I'm lucky I've got quite small hands so not really a problem to me and in here I like this little bag pocket here as you can see another pocket phone fits in there perfectly because this back pocket is like the size of the whole bag and it's really cool I just really liked it again Nice little structure on the inside. You've got a small zip pocket there. You've got a small mobile phone slip pocket there. This actually holds quite a lot considering it's actually a fairly small bag. Um, since, you know, watching a lot of these bag videos, I have, instead of having a purse, you know, years of lit working in retail and having big purses, I downgraded to a small leather one that unfortunately was starting to fall apart. It was great. It fitted all my co um, cards. It fitted all my coins. But again, I swapped out. I've now got a small card holder that's leather, similar kind of leather to this, slightly a bit lighter. And I also swapped out for a small leather coin purse in rose gold. Unfortunately, because of the type of leather, the rose gold metallic finish is coming off, but it's still pretty. And I put my headphones in there. I would show you, but I've emptied out that bag, so I, I, I won't for today. Um, normally, on a day-to-day -day basis, I've usually got lip balm, polos. Uh, I've got a travel card wallet for my bus pass and other bits and pieces. And, you know, I'll carry my card holder as well. And I will carry a coin purse because, you know, they're all little bits and pieces. I listen to music on my way to work, at work. If it's sunny, I'll have sunglasses with me because I've got prescription sunglasses. I don't have the wide variety of choice in sunglasses. So I've just got a nice classic pair. So, but all of that, including my phone, fits in here quite nicely. It is a small bag, so I have got to be a bit choosy with what I want to put in it. But I do like it. I like the handles. I carry it by the handles quite a lot. I haven't put this down on the floor. It's too nice. I must admit I've used it a handful of times. Unfortunately, it has... I'll be honest, because it was in TK Maxx, it was in the clearance section, it has been handled a lot already before I, came. I, I got to it. It's got a bit of sagging there. It's quite creased here and here. But you know what? It's a lovely little bag. I really like it. I'm glad I got it for my birthday. And... I really do like it, I must admit. It's really pretty and I've thoroughly enjoyed using it and I'm really happy. I've, I don't store it with the rest of my collection just for the fact that I don't want it to get damaged or scuffed and because of the colour, I don't want to risk it any transfer or anything like that. So, But I'm really happy I found it. Great present. On to this one. This one, a bit bigger. It's not as tall as... Eh, they're about the same kind of height. Only just, but about the same kind of height. Uh, this one's a lot wider. This one has uh, inside the main uh, the the main compartment. I know you can't see very well on camera because of the lack of daylight, but as you can see, there's a zip pocket there. There's another zip pocket here. Again, brilliant for little things, throwing things. I always put my bus stuff in there or my card holder, whatever. This holds quite a lot considering it is a little bag. This one I carry cross body. Again, it has a shoulder strap. This can't be removed. Only downside of the shoulder strap is they're sewn onto suede. And you've just got to be careful with the amount that you put in the sw in the bag so you don't tear the suede. Because that is, I, I saw a large version of this bag being sold with damage to the side. And I, I know this is kind of styled after one of the Balenciaga bags. I like the style of this bag. It's quite simple. It can be, you know, you can tuck the strap in and you can wear it at night. You can wear it day to day. I love the large version. The large version is um, a bottomless pit. But this I like, you know, I can fit a small lunch in it. I can fit all my day to day stuff in it. I like the mixture of leather and suede. I like the handles. This bag, to me, it fits like a normal bag just for the fact that, you know, I don't tend to carry... I will deliberately not carry a lot of things when I've got a small bag with me just for the fact that I know that I won't need a lot during the day. If I'm out all day with my friends or something, I will have a larger bag. But that's only because, like, if I've been out shopping and I know I've got to pick something up. This I bought off eBay. 
it is a lovely look. I must admit, when I was on the hunt for, I kept getting out bid for this bag and the large bag. I ended up finding the large bag on um, Depop and I found this on eBay. I think I paid about 15 quid for it. I added this little tassel detail here, which I thought was quite cute. Three little tassels, gold. Um, quite often what I will do is I will buy pom-poms, like faux fur ones, or I buy little tassels and, you know, just little things. The only disappointment with this is the hardware and the zip don't match in colour, whereas with the Paul Costello bag, as you can see, the hardware there and the hardware there, it all matches. But it doesn't matter. I still love this bag. This has probably been my most used bag this year so far. I think I got it in probably in January. Yeah, it was born in January. But it's got a suede base to it, which, you know, as long as you um, brush it over and keep on top of it, it's okay. There has been some scuffing to the leather, as you can see on the dome bits, and a bit of discoloration here. And I have snagged the leather there. But bear in mind, though, this is a second-hand bag. It's a couple years old before it came to me but it is a lovely bag and I cannot stress how much I have genuinely enjoyed having this bag I look forward to having it for many years I rotate my bags quite regularly just so that there isn't just one bag having the heck bashed out of it but for both bags I love them for different reasons this one you know fits a lot they both fit into my wardrobe because quite literally anyone could fit walk into my wardrobe and find something to wear because I have so much variety in the way that I dress. But I like that both bags fit into my life very well. They fit all my stuff and they're great colours and they're both very versatile. That one, just day-to-day -day use, I use all the time. That one I just love because, quite frankly, it's a pretty bag and sometimes it's nice to just love something because it's pretty. And it um you like i said i don't have a link for this one because it's a second hand bag that was found in on ebay that i've told you the name of it you can probably find one of those on ebay by putting in top shop leather bag or top shop leather mini bag or depop which is i i did find it on depop but somebody wanted 30 pound for it which is a bit ridiculous for a small bag from top shop and it was probably close to what it was worth when they bought it. So never mind. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.